Yesterday I tried to imagine my life without craft and to be honest, my life would be so sad and full of depression and pain. I can't thanks enough to find you a few years ago and to join this amazing craft family and I hope in the future you will join me and you will be happy to create something and hopefully you will be inspired by my creations. Welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. I've been off for a few weeks for personal reason and just because of my amazing Patreons and here I have to say huge thank you to, to, to all of them that I'm getting back to my craft and I'm again enjoying my craft. The things which healed me many times before, which helped me go through to hard times many times before and which is helping me now again. Because it's Christmas coming and uh, I'm hoping to have nice family Christmas this year in the traditions I know and I liked from from my childhood. I have created few collections. One collection uh, will be those 12 Christmas cards. I did uh, 12 designs which can be used for cards or for journal covers. And here you can see uh, how I use them for creating Christmas cards. So I will very quickly show you all of them are just very simple. Uh, the creating cards was always very difficult for me. So this year I have created for myself kind of kit, very simple kit. And I have created very simple way these 12 cards. Uh, they were from the start like this, very wide uh, design. And I just created a crackle effect on each of them, wiped uh, darker ink to those crack, uh, crack, crackle spots and created my cards really very easy way in the vintage style. But today I would like to share with you how you can use these designs for making a little bit more bright and snowy uh, cards or maybe mini folder I will see so these are designs you can find in my uh, small kit for Christmas cards but as I said they don't have to be used for just for Christmas cards all these images will be there as a single image on the sheet as well as four images on the sheet as well so 12 in total and you can see them here there is also a sheet with those strips uh, with some uh, some sayings and I tried to match those images with those uh, strip uh, with those words on those strips and there are also the stars those oval images they are for one and a half uh, paper punch one and a half inch oval paper punch <laughs> And uh, those laterns, three of those laterns, six of these stars and many of these oval images. That is in that collection. It will be linked down below. And today I decided to work with this. So from these oval images, you can uh, expect their season greetings, few of the, these stars, few uh, ovals with the number 25, be merry. Belief in magic, winter wishes, and uh, I just created that crackle effect on them as well. So they are white and red. Joy in the uh, joy to the world, and there is few more which you was able to see on those cards. And then the sheet with those strips. So there is a strip with candy cane. I'm called them ribbons because it's always uh, on all that sheet. On, on all that leg of the sheet, I mean, uh, the strip with same saying. So letters to Santa, build a snowman. There are uh, like family activities 
and also kind of like uh, traditional sayings. So Christmas carol, eggnog testing, ugly sweater party, uh, holiday card photo, family ice skating, special holiday, Christmas morning, seasonal snacks, uh, Christmas tree hunting, ginger, uh, gingerbread house, special moments, the reason for the season, and there is a few more. So I'm going to use this sheet today. So I uh, cut the images on pieces, I mean on those four pieces, and I think I'm going to choose this one. And I've got here prepared a pocket. In that pocket is this die, it's brand new die. And this will be my giveaway for this video. Uh, it's brand new. I hope the winner will don't mind that I'm gonna actually use this die to decorate the pocket. And then it will be like my giveaway. I didn't do giveaway for a long time and my number of uh, weavers, it's raised quite well. Thank you so, so much to all of you. So from now here and there, uh, there is much more. I've got prepared many other pockets with dies. Uh, not like this, they are different ones. I've got here really huge amount and uh, I decided to share all of them this way. So I hope you will join me. Uh, that will be probably not every week, but uh, I will try to do it every second week, I think. So I'm going to use today these dies and the image from my collection of of the Christmas cards. And I'm going to borrow these dies from the new owner, which will be choose in the next video. I don't want to totally ruin it. Maybe I can do it somehow different way. <laughs> I don't want. Oh, come on. I am so sorry for destroying the holding paper. So I do have my die cuts. Dies are back in the in the packaging and uh, I just want to show you it also it's not just cutting it also embossing uh, the die cuts which is really beautiful and I really love that so I hope new owner will enjoy these dies so we've got uh, two mistletoes we've got one bell and those two leaves and also frames those uh, negative uh, negative frames so I will try to use all of it uh, of cuts kind of ish I backed with uh, book pages and I'm gonna work on them a little bit later now I do have here distress ink uh, bundlet bundlet sage and this red ink uh, it's from a dog craft and it's just called red and I'm gonna use my inks To add some color to my die cuts and just a very easy way nothing too much complicated I'm gonna pull out this clear embossing powder I'm gonna add embossing powder on this red red spots the rest of this uh, Die cuts I'm gonna distress with bundled sage distress ink from Ranger. So I do have my greenery done and I'm working on this uh, bell and I use that red and green on uh, the bow and uh, the mistletoe or I think it's mistletoe and uh, here inside I used uh, tea dye distress ink and I just use a brush to wipe it in and here on that edge and inside in the bell I'm using ground espresso but just very kind of like very lightly just with a little leftover on my 
distress tool and because it will be in Christmas theme uh, these off cuts I'm gonna decorate this is my homemade fine sand and glitter mix which I am using for my snowman and for my home Christmas decoration so I'm gonna use uh, this sand sand not sand sand uh, mix and I will try to decorate a little bit edges uh, of my mini tags I'm editing on the edges the bindex which I shared with you I think already and bindex is wonderful craft supply for editing to the colors to acrylic colors and then editing the paint on your project so here I'm gonna use that bindex as my glue and like snowy effect on my mini tags so while my uh, small decorations are drying over there I'm gonna use this uh, image and uh, I pull out from a last year Christmas box with unfinished journals by the way <laughs> I pull out this cardboard box which I covered uh, last year with this beautiful striped paper it's in beautiful red color so and I can actually use it nicely to make a frame for my picture it's not straight here and here but I can hopefully make it straight so I think somewhere here and I'm gonna cut the frame for my picture like this and make it straight so I'm gonna <clears throat> take my picture and draw the size of my picture here on the back of my card and I do have the frame now I'm gonna take a ruler and I will cut always kind of like inside and create a frame for my image so I do have this beautiful frame and I think it will look amazing so I've got my image the frame can I have a look on these look how beautifully sparkle it is that mix of sand and the glitter I will put link for both products which I mixed together down below so you can have a look what I used for this uh, sandy glitter glitterly mix I'm gonna cut a little bit just a slightly the corners of my frame because I don't like sharp corners I'm gonna use my distress tool and just very easily with the ground espresso yes just like this I'm gonna take my card and I have added to those corners a beautiful embossed effect and I added there uh, using this embossing folder from Sizzix this is a very old collection uh, those flourish and postcard set uh, number is 657666 and it's from 2011 I do believe yeah here 2011 so maybe only on eBay I guess uh, if somebody will sell that I found it on eBay uh, I've got here kind of like missing piece so I will take some book pages I am very sorry I didn't notice my camera just died so what I did I cut uh, the strip uh, this strip it's from uh, the Christmas collection and I cut it strip 
on the daily tax and there is countdown for Christmas and this I used to kind of cover these two edges because here will be frame then uh, I glued the frame on my image and I glued the bell plus one mistletoe and one that leaf here on the corner that's all what I did so on the background I decided to do crackle accent so first I'm gonna paint it with white acrylic paint and I'm And I'm gonna add that, that crackle, uh, crackle effect. This is product I bought in Czech Republic a long time ago, so hopefully it still works. So I put it to my oven and it went kind of here. <laughs> Not sure it kind of baked or what. So I do have a very weird background. I've got here. Uh, white acrylic gesso so I'm just gonna try to do some easy stenciling I've got this beautiful stars stencil okay So I think it may will hold and it will hopefully create kind of like sparkly, very weird background. So I think this is dry already and I can start to put it somehow together. I've got here the sheet I have created. Uh, I do have the template, just black and white template on Buy Me or Coffee on my Patreon and also in few packs I've got on Etsy already printed and coated to different colors. Uh, so I'm gonna use some number from here, some random number, I think 2, 23, and glue that number on a cardstock and create some small decoration. My random number done, it's packed with that cardboard uh, cardboard paper. Got my frame and from the strips I'm gonna use of course candy canes here and also the reason for the season and I will create some kind of layout. So first I will use these um, negative dies. And one I will place here. The second one, uh, and I decided to use the hot glue gun. It will hold much better, I believe. I'm gonna place somewhere here. There will be the frame. So I'm gonna cut my green ribbon right here <clears throat> and I'm gonna glue it on the bottom of the frame right here the part of it on the opposite side but there I think I will need to put a small reinforcement and so I'm gonna use double-sided tape and I'm gonna place the double-sided tape just a little bit over the edge and slide there like this so first i'm gonna glue this paper embellishments on my frame so one will be here the leaf now the number i think somewhere here 
and the star will go over it but for star I'm gonna use hot glue and I'm gonna place it right here and I decided to go with that candy canes right here kind of like you know to spread the red color from here to that uh, star so I'm gonna glue the candy cane here on the top Just slide it behind and glue it to the edge of that right here. And I think I'm done. So now I'm gonna flip it over <clears throat> and I'm gonna put double sided tape. So I place double sided tape on kind of all that background. I reinforced also that candy cane strip. And I am ready to glue it down somewhere here to see from both sides those white strips. So I think I'm done. I'm not gonna put anything else on it. So this is my uh, decoration. It's nicely sparkle. It has those beautiful dice on it they are really gorgeous i hope new owner will don't mind that i use them and will enjoy to use them so in the next gift giving video i will announce the winner so this is my sharing for today i hope you did enjoy it I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you found some inspiration for upcoming Christmas. Uh, I will list down below my collection, of, which I do have on Etsy. Also the sheet with ra random numbers, if you want to print it out and somehow decorate it or use as a decoration. Thank you so much for visiting me today. Uh, if you want to win the die you have to leave the comment under this video and of course uh, it will be nice if you will be my subscriber and will support this channel for me thank you so much for visiting me today have a beautiful day take care about yourself and i will see you soon bye